Hi everybody, Justin and Crystal here. Today we're gonna to be doing something just a little bit different. We're gonna talk about the differences between a hybrid mattress that I'm sitting on and an all foam mattress that's Crystal sitting on. So let's get started. So when it comes to a hybrid versus a memory foam mattress, clearly one of the biggest differences is gonna be the build of the mattress. A hybrid mattress is going to offer a coil system with several layers of foam over the top, where an all-foam mattress is going to have a base foam with then layers of foam over the top. That's going to kind of translate into different things uh, as far as comfort, motion transfer, sleeping cool, and even edge support. So we're just going to run down some of those things and let you know what to expect when you're getting an all-foam and hybrid mattress. So for starters, what I'd like to talk about, I'm sitting on the hybrid mattress, and this is gonna have a pocketed coil system, and then you're gonna have laminated layers of foam. One of the big differences that I notice of owning a mattress store for over a decade is the fact that you're probably gonna have a, a, a few less uh, sleep impressions that are gonna form out of something that's gonna have a coil inside of it. So. If I have a customer that comes into my store and they're a heavier person, 300, 350, 400 plus pounds, um, I would generally guide them over in the direction of getting something that's gonna have a heavy, thick coil system. So you want the gauge of the steel to be nice and thick. You typically wanna have a little bit of border rod that maybe runs around the outside edge, maybe some foam encasement that's on the outside edge, just to structurally make it just be a very solid, firm, uh, core and if you have a, a solid firm core you're not going to sink all the way through and have deep sleep impressions. So clearly the all foam mattress is going to offer all foams. The biggest difference being that the base foam opposed to a coil system is just going to be a dense layer of foam that's going to have a really consistent feel to it. With a spring mattress you know you are going to have a little bit of vibration and with an all foam mattress you're just going to have that really solid base. So if you really want just something that's gonna have a nice consistent feel, you might prefer the feeling of an all foam mattress. Now another thing with an all foam mattress when it comes to the feel is kind of how those comfort layers on top associate with that foam on the bottom. There's gonna be a different correlation on a hybrid opposed to an all foam mattress because of the fact that you're gonna have less spring coming from the bottom. So you're gonna sink in a little bit and potentially have a little bit more contouring and a little bit more cocooning than you will in a hybrid mattress. So if you like something that's gonna contour to your body a little bit more, then you might like an all foam mattress opposed to a hybrid. So let's compare both uh, an all foam mattress and a mattress that's going to have coils inside of it for motion transfer. Um, of course you are going to get a little bit more motion transfer that runs through a bed that's going to have a coil system inside of it. So um, nowadays you aren't going to have your traditional old school bouncy squeaky coil system though. You're going to have an individually pocketed coil set. So all the coils are not intertwined together and it is going to reduce some of that vibration, vibration and movement that runs through the bed. But you still do have a coil system. So you are going to have more resistance pushing back, which is going to create just a little bit more energy that runs through that bed and is going to probably be, probably be a little bit more partner disturbance that you're going to feel. An all foam mattress, like the one that Crystal's sitting on, that bed is not going to have any bounce, any vibration that really runs through it. So it, that is the, the clear advantage to an all foam bed. So if you're somebody who, at home that you're just sick and tired of your partner moving around and waking you up in the middle of the night, you know, a foam mattress is going to absorb that energy. Um, you're not going to have that bounce that really develops out of yeah. that movement. Especially with memory foam. If you're looking at a latex or some poly foams out there, they might have a little bit more of a resilience feel to them. But with a memory foam bed, you're definitely going to have that really absorbing feel that's really dense and really just takes away any motion transfer. For sure. So sleeping cool, the difference between a hybrid mattress and an all foam mattress. I definitely got to give the edge to something that's going to have a coil system inside of it. So by having that coil system, typically you're going to be six inches or eight inches thick. You're going to have laminated layers of foam that run over the top of that traditionally. And by having that coil system, you're just naturally going to have better airflow. So, I mean, just look at it this way. You think of you have individual coils that run throughout the bed. You're going to have uh, pockets of air that can escape 
Um, if you have just a brick of all foam that runs through it, that's gonna just radiate that heat more. Um, so that's just a clear advantage uh, for a hybrid mattress. Yeah, I would have to say that when you are looking at Sleeping Cool, some of the things to keep in mind though with those layers on the top is what are they made of? Right. Are they gonna offer uh, a variety of foams that might have some pockets and hills and valleys in them to help with heat retention? Are they gonna feature you know, some newer aged foams that are gonna offer better uh, breathability as well. Right. So that's something and and how mind. firm or how yeah, soft the bed definitely. is as well too. So even if you had a coil system inside of your bed and you have like four inches of super firm, dense, uh, Tempur-Pedic like foam, well, you're probably still going to create quite a bit of heat inside of that mattress. Um, uh, remember the, 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 the more you ride on top of a bed, you're always going to have a little bit better heat dissipation that way as well. Yeah. So talking about edge support, this is important as well. You know, if you like a, a good firm sitting surface, the mattress that I'm on right now, this is the Allswell hybrid mattress. This has pretty darn good edge support. Uh, you can really feel that strong coil system underneath you. You don't have too thick uh, of layers of foam that run over the top of that coil set. Um, so this, by having that coil system, it actually provides really good edge support. Now other mattresses that are going to be all foam, there is going to be a difference of the density of that base foam. So the firmer the base foam, the better for your edge support uh, in general. Also, if you have six to eight inches of base foam and you only have two or three inches of comfort foam that go up, uh, uh, go up the top of it, you're generally not going to have as much sinkage as if you had a big thick 14 or 15 inch thick mattress. So you just think of the more layers of foam that keep going up and up and up and up. Generally speaking, you're going to have more sink that's going to come down. So if you're looking for really good edge support in an all foam mattress, you want very firm uh, base foam that goes inside of it and you really don't want too thick of a mattress yep. and if you're looking at really good edge support for a coil mattress you look for something that's going to have really firm border rod that runs around the outside or a very very dense firm foam encasement that runs around the bed. And I would say also going along with that, even the comfort layers are gonna vary uh, in density depending on the quality of them. So if you're gonna, if you want something that's gonna have better edge support for sleeping, sitting, everything, Having a mattress with higher quality comfort foams that are a little bit denser and just a little bit more consistent is also going to make a difference, especially from a sleeping standpoint. Uh, you really want to be able to fully utilize your mattress for sleeping when you're talking about edge support. So having uh, any mattress, whether it be a hybrid or an all foam mattress that has nice top layers, uh, you might have to pay a little bit more for them, but it does really make a difference when it comes to using your full mattress. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the advantages and what you're going to get from a hybrid versus a memory foam mattress, both are going to offer plenty of benefits but may appeal to different sleepers. Personally, I would say that if you are looking for a mattress that has extremely minimal motion transfer, uh, you know, it's going to have kind of a little bit maybe more pressure relief and contouring uh, with that base foam opposed to a hybrid mattress, then you're probably going to look for an all foam, specifically a memory foam mattress. Now, if you're a sleeper who likes a little bit more of a dense support, uh, as well as a little bit more of a bounce to it and sleeps a little bit cooler, then you might want to look more at the lines of a hybrid. Uh, I think some of the most important things to keep in mind in, with either mattress is looking for a mattress that is going to have quality foams and coils in it regardless. Uh, something that's going to have more than two layers. Uh, I think sometimes if you don't have that uh, you know, transition layer between the coils or the base foam, you're not going to have that deep comfort that's necessary for really good pressure relief. Uh, I'm, I also think that between any mattress that you're going to be looking at, um, making sure that there's a comfort that's ideal for you. Most mattresses are going to come, if they're one feel, uh, into a medium to medium firm range. But if you have a preference that's firmer or softer, make sure you're finding a mattress that's going to accommodate you for that as well. Um, otherwise, I would say uh, definitely go back over to OurSleepGuide.com and check out some of the mattresses that are in our best of page. Those we have all tried and can tell you that they all sleep really well uh, depending on what you're looking for. And there's a variety of memory foam as well as hybrid options out there. So thanks for watching. This was just a, a comparison of a hybrid versus an all foam mattress. You know, definitely give us questions if you have any. Just send us emails. We're here to help. 
Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.